The voice winner Mo Jamil reveals his abuse-filled childhood inspired his music. Now for the first time the singer opens up in an exclusive interview about the horrors of his youth, which inspired tracks including the spine tingling in your father's house on his debut album Evolve. Mo, 22, was given up for adoption as a baby by his mother, whose religion frowned upon unmarried women giving birth. They reconnected last year, but the woman who adopted Mo has been cut out of his life forever after subjecting him to years of physical and mental torment. She was extremely abusive, it wasn't tiny smacks, recalls Mo. I knew it was wrong what they were doing but I did not want to have a family Mo Jamal he has never spoken publicly about the details of his time with the woman, a devout Christian. He lived in Warrington, Cheshire, with her until the age of nine. Mo says, when she got married it was worse, a draining experience. If his adoptive mum and her husband argued they took it out on Mo. Yet despite his agony he never told anyone. I knew it was wrong what they were doing but I did not want to have a family, he says. When you have been passed around you're like, this is my family, for better or worse. One night they had a fight and she ended up in hospital for a week or two. The turning point was when his adoptive mother returned home and saw neglected Mo had dirty school clothes. Her husband had failed to do any washing but Mo was blamed. When she returned she physically harmed me and I felt if it carried on I would die, admits Mo. My body couldn't take it. I couldn't sleep because I was in pain. His classmate saw his injuries in gym class and alerted a teacher, leaving Mo finally free to escape. I went to hospital and they asked if I wanted to go home, he remembers. I said, I can't do it anymore. It took everything out of me. I got put back into care until the day before my 17th birthday, when I got kicked out. Due to the abuse, Mo who soared to the voice victory with more than 60 of the final vote, struggled to settle with any of the three foster families he was placed with. They tried their best but it was difficult because too much damage had been done, he says. Coached by American singer Jennifer Hudson on The Voice, Mo was encouraged to put his life experience into co-writing his first album. The result is a powerful collection of soul, funk and pop. Standout moment in your father's house sees Mo address the evil woman who ruined his childhood, with lyrics including. You paint the walls christened in my blood, are you saying this is his will from above? Mo explains, I approached it like, how would I explain to my adoptive mum what those experiences were like? I tried to form a relationship with her at 18 because I thought he'd still see good in her. But the last time we saw each other she tried to hit me. She tried to raise her hand, I caught it, reminded her I'm not a child anymore and walked out. She hadn't changed. Mo has been inspired by others in the spotlight talking about their mental health struggles, 
and hopes the nation continues to open up. I've spent years struggling with depression, he says. People were like, was a naughty kid, but it was a cry for help. The turning point came when a talent scout encouraged Mo to audition for The Voice last year. A life has changed for the better he wants to give something back. I'd like to show you've not got to put up with that s, he says defiantly. I did some stuff with the Prince's Trust and am going to work with the NSPCC. When I'm older I will foster or adopt. In 10 years I'd like to build my own foster home. I might not sell millions of records but I'd rather say I got to do my dream career and now I'm doing something that will have a positive impact on young people's lives. Moss debut album Evolve is out on Friday. He performs his new single That Feeling on The Voice on Saturday at 8.30pm on ITV.